Oh, God. Well, Curly, have you had any offers stateside? No, not really. I, I mean, a lot of the, at the Guillotinis, a lot of the Australian boys are there. Um, I, I know the management, I know the coach, Darren Coleman. I, he was my first first grade coach out, out of school. Um, good fella. Uh, Adam Fryers, an ex-Wallaby, ex-Waratah, an ex-teammate. He's also there. Uh, Stephen Wells is also there as well. Who's the um, owner? He killed someone, Gil or something? Uh, oh, well, Adam Gilkis. He's, I think he's got a, he's got, he's the F45 guy. Hmm. Right, okay. I think he's with like, you know, the, he's doing meetings and flying private jets with Mark Wahlberg and all the rest of the crew. Yeah, so, and it's oh, named after yeah. his, uh... and, and Ziva. I think. <laughs> 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 no, um, but yeah, I think you know the. I think that the best thing, the, the best thing about that, I think you know, rugby's, it, it, and I mean, the social media people are doing a great job of just you know smashing, smashing yeah. the media outlets. It's this uh, potential growth there, and then um, yeah, putting rugby on the map over in America um, for a for, for the for the world of rugby. I think it's I think it's great, um, and you know, who knows? Who knows? It could turn into anything. You know. We all might be over there one day. Exactly. Right? Yeah. Oh, I think right. myself and Ryan were offered a job by Alex Corbusero. Oh. We just haven't really figured it out. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm just waiting for the NFL sort of wages and then I'll... <laughs> <laughs> no, Chris Robshaw was on the podcast last week and he was saying, actually, with the rugby games, they have tailgating beforehand. So oh, I wow. am for that. I think that'd be so classy yeah. to bring it in over here. Um, <laughs> yeah. He dislocated oh. his shoulder, didn't he? First game. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Who, hey, Robshaw? Yeah, yeah. yeah. First game, oh, just wow. getting his shoulder, man. First Shit. game back. Oh, we feel sorry for him. Um, the Americans, they, the they go hard. They go hard, the Americans, you know. Mm. They're, they're, I remember playing a test match in over in, in Chicago, actually, before a World Cup in 2015. Um, they're strong, you know. Um, big boys. Big mm. boys. But a lot of their sevens guys kind of go back to their 15s. And, you know, they're, 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 de- they're a developing country, you know. And, mm. uh, and, and who knows with this MLR picking up a lot of, uh, you know, senior experienced players uh, from all over the world going over there and, and playing and, and just kind of creating a lot of hype but anything's possible. And, it's crazy it's taken this long for the Americans to pick up on it and go, oh, right, let's make it. Because yeah. every sport they go out, they yeah. kick the arse out of it and make it something big, don't they? So it's crazy exactly. it's actually taken this long. I can see it taking off yeah. like one Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and it just takes, you know, chats like these podcasts, you know, um, Getting on the social media and once they and they're doing a great job of it and you know Gits and, and Swoop are, are pretty good at you know getting out and get a bit of content about so um, you know as long as the the the, the whole club, uh, the whole I guess competition is on that then yeah we might see you know um, a, a big powerhouse mm. coming out That'd of it exciting well look um, currently on the pitch the Racing players are an incredible squad. But I want to know what they're like off it. So, you know, what's the wildest night out that you've had with Finn and the others? <laughs> the wildest night. The wildest <laughs> night. This is what this podcast is about. We're trying to tell us your story. We, <laughs> we have been, we have been uh, in confinement a lot. So that, it has been difficult. And, you know, That's when the, you get more wild, though. <laughs> Well, yeah, it depends. Your, your um, birthday, bro. Your my birthday, birthday uh, yeah. Nice. Actually, you know what? It was a surprise uh, party, uh, like, so g- gathering. Um, and uh, my wife organised. Um, and, uh, yeah, we had a few beers with uh, Finn and Zeeb at, Z- uh, at Finn's place. And I was like, I didn't know Zeeb was in with the, with the kind of whole kind of organising of it. And I was like, mate, we'll come back around mile and have a feed and maybe watch the rest of the rugby that time. And I was like, oh, yeah, sure, sure, no worries. And <laughs> as soon as we rocked up, there was like about 10 people at my place, like a few of the boys and all their partners and stuff. And we had a yeah, grand old time. <laughs> it was great. Yeah, unbelievable. <laughs> 10 out of 10. Oh, man, well, I don't know. So well, I don't know. But I was genuinely surprised. I've never been surprised like that, like, in a long, long time. Mm. And... Um, you know, fair play to Finn and Simon to, to, for doing that. You know. Oh, I bet <laughs> the champagne was flying if Finn had <laughs> You know, and they always, and you always, you know, the, it's the unplanned nights is the best yeah. nights. You know, it's, it's like, correct. Yeah. They're, they're the times where, you know, where, yeah, it's, it's, everyone just gets involved and gets amongst it and, um, yeah, has a, has a jolly, jolly old time. Yeah, buddy. 
<laughs> You've played with some amazing fly halves throughout your career. So where does Finn rank in that list? Like, how good is he? All right, Christina, oh. that's weird. Keep going about Finn all the time. <laughs> I yeah, keep telling the... you. Christina, easy, Tiger. Easy. It's not, are you, are you, are you going a little got bit jealous of the fact now. that I'm showing Finn some love here? Uh, it's usually Zeebs that's talking about on the podcast. I was, uh, go on, go on, go on, go on. <laughs> oh, pretty boy. Uh, uh, class. I've been very lucky to play with a lot of lot of great fly halves. I'll put I'll I'll, I'll rank the top five. I'll maybe not top five. I'll, I'll rank them off. Um, Matt Guido, Quade Cooper, Bernard Foley, um, Danny Cipriani, and uh, I'd throw in Finn there as well. They'd, they'd, they'd be. Bloody hell! They'd, you play with some good tens. Jeez, you know yeah, what I mean? That's like, some yeah, big it's, it's um, but I think if you look at those, like Quade and Quade and Finn are probably similar players. In, to, the way if I'm when I'm thinking about it now, very similar, creative, just X factor, um, great vision, just awesome skills. So I think yeah, Finney Boy will be up there. One of the most exciting players I've ever played with, that's for sure. Is he your starting lines number ten? Yeah, I'd throw him in there. Absolutely. I think you know because you could go with Farrell or Sexton which is great, but you know what you're going to get out of those guys. And look, it, it could be safe houses uh, for sure, but, you know, it, you put Finn behind a, a, a big forward pack going forward, it's happy days for Finny Boy. Like, and with the backs outside him, hopefully Zeebs is there too, maybe. You know? <laughs> well, but, you know, you get, a, you get a class play like outside backs like that, you, Finn will just have a field day. And, um, you know, I think it's, it's a, he's, he's done everything he can to, to put himself in the best in the best position to, to, to get selected there. And, you know, we'll, we'll wait and see. We missed the jump there, Christina. Hold on a minute. Out of those five, there's some loose men in there. I was <laughs> thinking that because five there's a few very people loose I have in my men. questions here. <laughs> oh, yeah. Jesus. Out of those five, you've got to take two on the piss. Who are you taking? <laughs> Christina, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Christina. You can pick yours off. Christina's oh, taking right. Finn anyway. That's just... <laughs> oh, they're, they're all mad. They're all mad. Yeah, man. Like Cipriani, good. crazy. Quay Cooper, completely nuts. Loses yeah. it. Finn, like, loves it. I'm guessing Bernard Foley. He's an Aussie. He's gonna be love the piss, isn't he? Yeah, Foles, is, Foles loves it as well. He's a he's Brilliant. a character. Really enjoying himself over in Japan at the moment too. So bloody hell, yeah. <laughs> oh mate, you imagine those five out on the piss. Very good. Be dangerous. Mm. Dangerous. Yeah, I'm, I won't be involved with that. I'll pass. Married life. Ryan, have we put any of those boys in our social fifteen? Is Finn, Finn in our social fifteen? Finn is. Yeah. Finn's in there. Finn's okay. in there. Finn's in there. Okay, I'll stop mentioning Finn, so I'll move on. (laughs) (laughs) A fellow Aussie in Eddie Jones currently oversaw a shockingly poor campaign for England this season. So, like, why do you think they were so bad? I don't know if they were bad. Were they bad? I I think just teams were kind of... Whenever you play England, like, teams get up for it, you know, and I think they probably just got outplayed um, on the night. Um, You know, I think... uh, People were talking about how that the style of play as well did that affect, um, you know, the the way they picked the team. You know, was they they kicked a lot of ball, but they've got some some exciting outside backs as well. You know, just kind of did they pick the right style for the players that were picked? I don't know, um, but uh, you know, I think uh, like every good team, like they, they I'm sure they'll bounce back. But you know, they had a big, they had a successful World Cup campaign, I thought, and. You know, as a player, just you build, you build up, you build up all this energy. You go through this emotional roller coaster ride, and then at some time, at some point, guys get tired. You know, it's reality. It's who we are as humans. Guys get tired, and um, teams probably, you know, lack that kind of enthusiasm and that kind of, uh, you know, the um, that drive. I mean, playing for your country, you always kind of put your body on the line, no matter what, but you know, there's throughout this tournament, I thought, you know, the French and the the the, the Welsh were, were were brilliant. That they 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 showed their class on on, 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 the, on the day, and um, you know, um, and I think uh, you know they're, they're great examples of of teams kind of you know making the most of the opportunities. 